Welcome to Briar's Music Showcase. I'm Briar Cisneros, and welcome back to another video. And if my setup looks a little bit off, uh, just know that I'm recording this at night, and I was not expecting to record a video. Um, and the reason is, is because this guy happened to show up, and of course when he shows up, that means it's mail time. And I have a little package here. Um, now, this was actually sent to me by another viewer. So, um, of course, when I'm recording this, I am not 100% sure who sent me this. I have a bit of an idea on who did. So the person who sent me this, thank you so much for taking the time to sending me this. So, again, I know what's in here. I know it's CDs, but I have no idea what band or artists are in here. So, this will be very fun to kind of figure out, you know, what this person sent and you know maybe i'll like him maybe i won't we'll see how it goes um but yeah i'm just gonna open it right away of course here's the box cutter so let's go ahead let's open this up let's see how i'm gonna tackle this i'm gonna try not to show the address uh, i'm probably gonna uh, do it something down here maybe or maybe i'll do it on my knee something like that and then kind of just cut it there so if the camera shook there that's why because my foot is on the bed I'm going to try to be careful, trying not to cut myself. Because this is a very precarious position I'm in. Okay. There we go. I think I got one side. Let's try the other. Sure, in, it's in, somewhat in frame. There we go. Let's try to get this, find the center. Okay, this is gonna be, oh, okay, there we go. All right, we got bubble wrap. Okay, let's take out the bubble wrap and we'll, let's see what this package has in store. Oh, well, looks like I'll know for certain who sent me this because they have a little note. Let's read. Hey Briar, so here are the seeds I told you I was gonna send. Most of these are titles that I have in my own collection and I recently found at thrift stores and thought that you <coughs> that I thought you'd enjoy. And there are a few that I used to like but are cast offs from a recent downsizing of my collection. In any case, I hope you don't I hope you don't already have any of these yet and I hope you enjoy them all. If you'd like me to tell you more about any of them, just ask. Happy listening, Tom. So there's the note. So Tom, I do know Tom, um, he has his own YouTube channel, uh, Tom's Hit Parade, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Um, again, he's checked out, he's commented on some of my videos before in the past, and of course, and I've checked out some of his videos as well. Um, very nice guy, but um, again, has a really good personality when he's on camera, just very outgoing by what it seems. Um, again, his collection is bigger than mine surprisingly uh, I know some people say my collection is pretty big but there are some people where I am not worthy uh, but yeah Tom thank you very much for sending me this um, again I'm kind of curious to see what you have in this package um, let's see was there anything else I was gonna say um, but yeah this is kind of similar because I know on his channel he does a series where um, I think believe at a, I think I believe at a record store they have like bargain bags or, or something like that where they have like mystery bags where there's like random CDs and you just grab a bag and then you just kind of open it up and see what you get. Uh, it's kind of kind of similar to that. Only it's not a bag, it's a box, so it's a mystery box. So yeah, let's see what we have. Okay, so first, right off the bat, um, this one I do have in my collection. Uh, but of course, like I always say, even though I have, even though I already have it, um, the duplicates will always be used for spare cases. Um, so first up we have, we have uh, Sports by Huey Lewis in the News. Um, so I can't remember what mine looked like. Let me see, mine's up here. Let's see, let's just, let's just, let's just compare the packaging real quick. Um, should be pretty, somewhere around here. Um, no, okay. Yes, yeah, give me one. There it is, I found it. Okay. So yeah, so this is what Tom sent and this is what I have. 
So I, this is like a like a, one of those like reissues or remasters and expanded edition. Um, this has some bonus tracks and, and this one just has the traditional album. Okay, so let's just open it up. Let's see what this one looks like. So let me first show the disc. So here's what it looks like. All right, and then here's the booklet. So you just open it up, just got some lyrics. Again, this is like an, an, or like an older, an older copy. So of course it's going to give you like the minimum of information. Um, but yeah, this is a good album, by the way. Um, I really do enjoy some Hue Huey Lewis in the news. Um, really good stuff. Um, just good, fun, 80s. Uh, kind of pop rock sort of sound kind of harkening back to like the 50s almost uh, but yeah great voice of course and yeah some they've had some big hits uh, so yeah we got that um, okay next up now this one I am not sure I have not heard before so it's Kamba so it's Keb Mo so Keb space Mo and the album is called Peace Back by Popular Demand Okay, so I guess that's him on the back there. Um, so never heard of this person. Um, he produced this. He produced this as well. Um, there's some covers, some, some songs I recognize. Like there's he he does a version of "The Times They Are Changing" by Bob Dylan. Um, he does "Imagine" too. Um, let's see what anything else I recognize? I might no. Oh wait, never mind. Um, but yeah, I'm assuming this is like blues, like a kind of, kind of like a folk blues singer. Um, but it should be interesting. So here's the disc, has the big peace sign. And on, on the inside, you just have this nice little bird. Might be a dove. That's kind of cute. Okay, so again, let's look at the what's in store. So this one folds. Oh. Hey, check it out, I got a free receipt. Yep. I'm not going to say what's included on that, but free receipt. Yes, I can return this when I want. No, no, no I'm joking. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so that's what it looks like on this side. Again, just kind of giving the track listing again, I think. Maybe. I'm not sure. I have to look deeper in that. But the other side, you have... Who, just the credits on who played on what track and then you have lyrics to one of the songs I think okay so interesting so that's that one okay next up we have a greatest hits this one's interesting because it's kind of kind of messes with your mind a bit so so of course this is a collection of greatest hits but when you flip it, it tells you who it's by so this is the agents anthology hmm yeah another band i have not heard before um so i have a short greatest hits there's like one two three four five six seven eight songs only so not a huge greatest hits um but yeah this again i've not heard of this band but I can't really tell you what I think it'd be. I guess they're a rock band. So that's what the disc looks like. Let's put that away. Again, have that trippy upside down thing. Okay, and we get nothing on the inside. So now, I, so now I'm, this is like, this adds to the mystery on what this band is. So yeah, we'll we'll take a look. We'll take a look at it, of course. So yeah, that's that. All right, next. Oh man, oh oh, I don't know why, because from afar it looked kind of creepy, but it's actually not that bad. So this is an al So this is by someone named Nelly McKay, and this is her album. And this is her album, "Get Away from Me." Hmm, interesting, interesting indeed. Um, it has a parental advisory sticker for some for 
so I don't know what to expect now because um, she looks she looks kind of like your typical um, singer singer songwriter maybe so there's two discs actually so disc one um, has nine songs and disc two also has nine songs so 18 songs in total so here is the disc there's disc one and then disc two you have that yet again another artist I am not familiar with so here's the back of it and I think they give you a ton of lyrics by the looks of it so here's this side Okay, and then I didn't so I didn't show the other side. What the heck's wrong with me? It's been a long day. Uh, so yeah, let's see what's on this side. I think more just more lyrics maybe. So okay, so yeah, I have no idea what to expect from this. Because the advisory sticker is kind of like, yeah, this one, is it, is it going to be one of those albums where you think it's going to be one thing, but it's actually something completely different? I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I think we have a few more to go. Up next. See, oh, Paul Abdul. This is, this album's called Forever Your Girl. Now, I do have one Paul Abdul album already. Uh, it's Spellbound. It's up there, but yeah, I don't have this album. You know, I, I enjoyed Spellbound. It's good for what it is. I haven't heard them in a while though, so we'll see how I feel on other albums by her. I know she was pretty big and for she she was pretty big in her own right in the nineties. Maybe early 80s. When did this album come out? 88. Okay, just gives you a bunch of lyrics. Alright. Interesting, interesting. So yeah, very diverse selection here. I like that. Okay, next. All right, Lucy, Lucy Silvi, Silvis. This is this album's called "Breathe In." All right. Oh, okay. Um, might be. I don't know. Looks like a. Might be a, kind of a. I don't know. Again, country. Again, more. Maybe alternative rock at least. Maybe pop. Could be an R and B album for all I know. So we just got some photos of her in here with the lyrics. So almost done. And then you have some studio photos. That's kind of cool. All right. We have that. Okay. We have one, two, three, four. I'm just feeling from the side. Okay. Oh, wow. This is this is definitely an interesting title. So, let's see. This is from. A group called you fine young cannibals FYC for short and this is the album and their albums called the raw and the cooked hmm I wonder what this could be about <laughs> okay so it's okay judging by this is kind of like a rock band because you have you have a singer you have a keyboard and bass player and a guitar player um, yeah Interesting, interesting name. So, 
there's the disc right there you can pause it there I kind of went through pretty quickly um, so yes yeah, look in the booklet see what else we get I'm assuming the name is just for shock value and just to get attention and I'm hopefully they're not really cannibals okay here's the photo that's on the front again Right. Definitely the most unique name in this whole collection here. Might be even the most out there names in my collection right now. At least at least right as of now. I could be wrong. Okay, get down to the last three. Okay, I have heard of this person. I don't know much about I don't haven't really heard a whole album by them though. Um Tori Amos. Yeah. I've heard of this person, but I haven't heard it, listened to her music. I heard some good stuff though. I forgot what genre she is. Um, so this album is Little Earthquakes is, is what it's called. So open it up. Very small text. Might be. I don't know if they're lyrics or just poetry. Could be both. Of course, I'm going to do some research on a lot of these, a lot of these bands and artists afterward. So this album came out when? Mm, it says 1991. I'm curious where the when the other albums came out. And yeah, we'll I'll look at it once we're done here. Number two. Okay, Stroke Nine. Nasty little nasty little thoughts. Okay, probably probably another rock band. This one came out in '99, same year I was born. So here's the disc. Let's put you back. We have one more after this, so let's see if we can end on a bang. down to the final one and the last CD in this box is let's see better than than Ezra better than Ezra deluxe so I can't I don't know if the band's called deluxe um, or they're called better than Ezra I'm assuming the band's called deluxe maybe um, there is 13 tracks came out in 95 okay one song is blank I wonder, I wonder and it's only a only a minute and a half long so I'm assuming it's, that's an instrumental track looks like there's only three members kind of cool CD there so yeah there's three three guys there so I'm assuming they're a three-piece okay this is a short booklet it's just a pamphlet open it up you got these photo yeah a little nice little design here and on this side you just have the track listing again the credits um, drums drums and vocals bass guitar another three yeah they're a three-piece band um, and a lot of session musicians as well all right well that's the package so this is a very interesting selection here yeah a lot of stuff I have not heard of before but yeah definitely very interesting so let me just go ahead and go through 
Um, the ones, so again, this was 95. This is Deluxe, better than Ezra. Okay, this one came out in 99. We have Stroke 9, Nasty Little Thoughts. Uh, Tori Amos, Little Earthquakes. This came out in 91. Um, Fine Young Cannibals, The Raw and the Cooked, this came out in 88. Okay, then we have Lucy Silva's with Breathe In, this was 2004. So a lot of this is very much late 80s, 90s, early 2000s type of, type of music. Um, There's another 88, Paul Abdul um, with, what's this called? Uh, Forever Your Girl. And then Nellie McKay with Get Away From Me. This was, two, again, 2004. Then we have the Agent Anthology, Just the Greatest Hits. Um, I guess this the Greatest Hits originally came out in 76, so there you go. Then we have Keb, Keb Mo, Keb Mo, um, Peace Back by popular demand. And this was 2000, okay, it doesn't really tell you what date this came, actually, no, hold on a sec. Yeah, 2004, again. So yeah, the only, okay, the only artists that I knew were, again, Huey Lewis and the News, which again, I already have. Um, I knew Paul Abdul, and I heard of Tori Amos, but never heard, listened to her music. Um, so I guess three out of how many in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten CDs in total. So three out of ten uh, were the only ones I was I have heard of at least. So again, very diverse selection here. So very interested to see what lies with the with within these. So so Tom, if you're watching this again, thank you very much for sending me all this. Again, really appreciate you joining the join the content. Um, um, of course, good luck with your channel as well. Um, yeah, you, you do have, you have a lot of great content on your channel as well. So again, if you want to check out Tom's channel, I'll leave a link to that in the description and. If you want to send me some CDs, then of course you can message me on Twitter. Um, yes, Twitter. Um, <laughs> uh, message me on Facebook or Instagram. Um, any of those is fine. Um, probably the best ones would be Twitter or Instagram. Those would probably be the best places to reach me. Um, but other than that, again, hopefully you've enjoyed this. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on any of these uh, bands or artists that I got here. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye for now.